Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $7 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. The choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. Contribute directly to getting these people people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment. What's up, guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pin comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So, be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment. Like the video. What's up, guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie, as you can see right here. And Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like, in all seriousness, they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Oh yeah, 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 okay. Just... Okay, last thing I said. Of the car? No. Oh. Hey, bro. I don't know. All right, keep, keep the camera down. We see him now. We're good. I'll go grab some water. Really? Oh, he's out, he's out. Do you see anything he's in his- He's staring at the car. Do you see anything in his pockets right now? I can't, he's just staring at the car.
Yeah, cause he, he literally walked out, like out to the car, staring at us, and he went back to his truck. What are you saying? Is he walking again? No, he's, he went back to the street. He's walking. Oh wait, he came back out. So where's he going? We got two waters. Okay, let's go. All the way around. Yeah. He has something on his belt. Yeah. I couldn't tell what it was though. Yeah, he carries. I don't know all like on him right now, but he, he does carry. Uh, it looks like he won. <laughs> He was like, oh, let me go back to the truck and grab this real quick. All right, ready? <sighs> Give the camera down. Oh, you just want that. Yeah. Hey, Wayne, got to talk to you, man, about what's going on, okay? Who? Got to talk to you about Emily. Who? About Emily. The girl I was talking to you on Facebook. We just want to have a conversation, man. We got everything saved here, okay? Cool. You got any weapons on you? Okay. My name's Gordon. Sorry to meet you like this. I think it's best we have a conversation about what's going on here, okay? There's no knives or gun. I don't see a gun, no knives. Okay, cool. And, of course, we just want to talk to you. I think it's the best way to address this, okay? All right, cool. Huh? Who are you? My name is Gordon. No, what are you? Oh, well, we're just kind of making sure that kids don't talk to adults online. We're like with a group called KP Kid Protectors USA. And, uh, you know, we just want to make sure that everything's good here and that, you know, nobody's about to get hurt or anything okay. like that. All right. And, you know, of course, we're not like holding in here. It's all voluntary. But I think with what's said here, we should probably just talk about it. Okay. So um, we should do it where nobody can overhear. You want to kind of just step that way? All right. I'm not trying to make you, you know, put you on blast to everybody. I just want to rather talk about it here, you know. Why they got cameras there? For safety reasons, so just in case, because I saw on your Facebook that you do carry, so I just want to make sure that you're carry? not. Yeah, I just want to make sure that you don't threaten us. We don't threaten you. I'm not threatening okay, cool. So obviously, you know what I'm here to talk to you about, right? Okay. So you are you actually from Texas? Yeah. Saw the 903 number. Oh, badass man. You know where Center Texas is? It's like East Texas. I'm from East Texas. Yeah, yeah, I'm from I'm from East Texas originally too, Center Texas. You're from you're from Greenville? Yeah, I got family in Princeton. Okay, I know that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what brought you here? Oh, I was in Havasu and then it got too expensive to live there, so I came to Kingman. Well, why'd you move to Arizona in the first place? Oh, well, my friends are snowbirds and I came to Arizona and I just haven't left. <laughs> oh, you fell in love with it here? Yeah, awesome. I like the mountains and the desert. Oh, it's so much better than shitty Texas. <laughs> no uh, humidity. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, all right, cool. So you do like uh, remodeling or? Yeah. Awesome, man, mm -hmm. awesome. So um, do you live here with your family or are you just kind of here alone? So, all right, cool, cool. All right, well, obviously, you know, here to talk about Emily. Okay, before we get into anything, I mean, how old is she? I'll just show you who she was. Okay, appreciate your honesty. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I want to ask because you are such a hardworking guy and you do well for the community. I mean, wh when did this stuff kind of all start for you, man? I don't know. It just happened. Like, well, I'm not talking about just with Emily. I'm just talking about like. Oh, this... no, this is the only one. <laughs> it's the first time. Oh, first time, like. Was... To a younger girl. Like someone underage? Yeah. Okay. So, so, basically, you know, I think y'all started in like October or something, late oh, 2022. Yeah, we became friends then. Okay. I never really talked much. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. So, I mean, there is a lot to unpack here, but I think that uh, just kind of get through this together, just figure it out, and, you know figured out but um okay so you live in arizona i mean conversation was very cordial at first you both live here in kingman okay so you moved here in january so you're pretty new here nice january 8th of last year got it got it so maybe we'll see each other uh, who, else knows about this who else knows about this oh dude i'm just trying to keep this here man okay. yeah so 
look, I mean, if I wanted to like tell everybody, I mean, I had months to do that. You know what I mean? Like, no need to. I'm do... already nervous enough. <laughs> no, I, I know it's hard to talk Before about. I even seen you all. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Oh, look, I'm still shaking my just... Yeah, dude, I love your beard though. By the way, I wish I could do it. You look like a, you look like a Navy SEAL and like a at the same time. It's like it's, it, 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 it is it is a good look. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, originally from Greenville. Did you go to school in Greenville? Awesome. Awesome. Did you go to college at all? Oh, good choice. So, um, you in school today? How's your day going? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, the conversations were very cordial at first, like just yeah, about working. Got yeah, I got carried away. What kind of happened, do you think? I don't know, just because I got curious about it. About this whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Has this always, like. Never happened before, so I'm like, I don't know. Has this always kind of been, like, maybe some one off fantasy for you or something? Not really. No? Just this time, it just kind of happened? Yeah, just Kind of fell into place, I guess. <laughs> okay. And you don't have any only girlfriends or wives here? Okay. So we're kind of like. I mean, I have friends. Yeah. Girls, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So you like to fish or go camping. That's my favorite things to do. So, I mean, y'all just kind of started like, you know, Merry Christmas, this, that. I mean, I think like a week or two ago, it started to get like pretty escalated. So, I mean, I, first, I think you asked her to hang out at the lake first. Yeah. What you're doing this weekend, just finished working. So do you like work for a company? Are you, you own the company or just kind of your own boss? Awesome, that's badass. Oh, here? Nice. Yesterday. <laughs> nice, nice. So would you rather be there than in Kingman? Then you said like, you know, we can, we can go to the lake this weekend or something. Okay, do you have school this week? Then you gave her your business card. And you said, how long have you been doing gymnastics? She said, two years. And you said, my daughter is in gymnastics in Texas. Is she really? Awesome. She back in Greenville? Okay. So you're divorced? Yeah. All right. Do you have any, like, sons at all? I have a set 12 girl. You have a son? And so you have, like, a boy and a girl? Yeah. Any more kids? Nope. No. Have a good day at school. And you said, are you not at school today? What school do you go to? Blah, blah, blah. And then you asked again how old she was. She said 11. You said, that makes me nervous, understandably. And you said, I could get in trouble if you tell someone we were going to hang out. You know how old I am, just turned 40. Congrats on that, by the way. Mm hmm. Let me see your messages. Okay. So, I mean, it did, it did kind of get a, after, after you figure it out, like, you know, her mom didn't see her messages, it kind of got a little bit escalated here. Okay. I didn't actually think this would like, me showing up here. Right. Did you, you just kind of on a whim happened? Yeah. Okay. Should be mowing the yard right now. <laughs> Making money instead of talking to you. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. I mean, you know, I'm, this just should be addressed. And I, I think with you, we can just get to the bottom of this and figure it out and just, you know. So, so here you say you got a swimsuit, bikini. You said, I love bikinis. And then, like, you asked for a bikini pic, called it hot. I mean, was she like just a cute girl to you or something? All right. So, what do you want to do when we hang out? You said thinking about swimming, but the temps still aren't hard enough. Huh? Or the, you said you were thinking about swimming, but the temps weren't hot enough. Oh, really? Yeah. And you said I'll probably be asleep. You never sent me a bikini pic, and then she sends you a bikini pic, and you said very body. So she just. I don't know where I got all this from. You just get. This is just the first, you know, younger lady under eighteen. You found in a way. I just think it's more curiosity than anything. Okay. Well, I mean, was the, was the, do you think like the taboo of this kind of got to you and like, maybe. got it got you just, I mean, were you just excited to do something new with this maybe or? Something different, I guess. Okay. It's not a fantasy or nothing like that. Never just really even thought about it. Just trying something? Yeah. Okay. And you said, I'm ready to meet you. You seem like a cool person to hang out with. You got any more pics? So, I mean, did you end up asking her for basically a topless photo? I don't remember. You mentioned pulling her shirt up. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, if she I were... I asked her to send a pic of her shirt up. I thought she'd have on a bra, but I don't know. Okay, I mean, what, sure she'd have one. what were you planning to do with that photo? I don't know, just look at it, I guess. Okay. There you go. Got it. Do we hang out at your house? She said, I want you to wear that bikini for me. Can you model it for me to dance around a little? And did you ask her to take a photo on with no underwear? I think you said you can take one on if you want to. Take one without underwear if you want to. Remember doing that? All right. 
So that would have been like a, a pretty much. Yeah. All right. What was what was kind of going on there? So just kept going and going, and I just got more curious. More curious. Okay. What exactly were you curious about with this? I guess it's been a long time since I've seen a younger one. Oh, really? <laughs> like since I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I guess because uh, I lost my virginity when I was 12, so I started thinking about that again. Oh, okay. The world I was with then. Kind of just reliving it? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Thought about that. So you, so you mentioned virginity. Um, so is that kind of... Well, it's just weird that she would talk about this and still be a virgin and like... Right. Yeah. Okay. So do you think she kind of seemed a little bit more mature for her age or something? Or yeah. Okay. So, so you mentioned virginity. I mean, was that kind of what was... If she, if she was okay with it, of course, was that kind of what was going to go down in there? If she was consenting, of course. That's, I don't know. I hope not. I, I really was wanted to hang out and know her first. Okay. I mean, were, were there stuff talked about? Yeah. Okay. I mean, because, you know, I don't think you talked about straight up taking her virginity. I think you just talked about other stuff. Okay. So was, was that more of what the plan was rather than just have sex with her, just do other stuff? Just hang out and talk and the bikini thing and stuff like that. Okay. Hurt a little bit. Okay. I might mess her up for the rest of her life. Right. No, I respect that. So, I mean, here you said you can model it for me, dance around a little. And, I mean, talk about her, her like modeling for you when you came over. Okay. So, what did you have in mind with modeling? What do you mean? Like, with, what did you, what did you mean by like modeling when? Put on clothes and model, I guess. Okay. And you said, are you able to go to the bathroom? I'm going to go to the bathroom and send me a pic. Okay, and you said you can model some of your panties and bras for me too. And you said, are you sure that you are okay with me saying this stuff to you? So to your credit, you did ask her like if this is okay. I asked her several times. Okay, so you just made sure she was okay with it this whole time? Yeah. All right, well, I'm, I'm glad you weren't forceful or anything like that. I Got it. I don't hurt mm -hmm. So you can model some of your panties and bras for me too. So, I mean, basically, I mean, if she was willing, was that like the plan for both of you guys? Okay. Were you going to more leave it up to her? Yes. Okay. So basically, you would have only been okay with her modeling if she... If, if you she, read it, I keep saying if you want. Okay. Say if you want. Okay. So basically, you would have made sure it's like a consensual thing for her to model and stuff for you there? Yeah. Okay. I respect I that. Got it. I, I really appreciate that. Okay. So... Model some of your panties and bras for me too. And then here you said, how would you feel about modeling? And she says, hmm, it would be interesting. And you said, why? And she said, why are you going to take pics? And he said, if you will let me. And she asked, is that if you wanted to do? And you said, yes. And she said, okay, you got a camera? And he said, my phone has one. So I do got to ask because, you know, obviously her modeling isn't like, you know, it's not touching or anything like that. It doesn't hurt her anyway. Sh sure, but I mean, you know, honestly, we're here at this point, right? But, um, you know, I, I got to ask. It, I think it personally gets into the exploitation category if you were to take those photos and share it around with people. I don't know anybody like that. Okay. So, so if she were to model for you, what were you planning on doing with those photos? Use them for myself. Okay. So you wouldn't have sold them, gave them to anybody? I would sell them to them. Okay. All right. Well, that, that gives me a peace of mind. I'd be worried about asking somebody, hey, you want to buy these kid photos? And, right. It's a cop. <laughs> right, right, right. It would be for me only. Right. Okay. Got it. And I mean, what photos, like basically, I, I know you wouldn't do anything if she wasn't okay with it, so we can get that out of the way. But I mean, like, what photos were you planning on taking of her if she was willing? I mean, what photos? Yeah, like, you just were like just full photos or. Okay. Did you have anything specific in mind or just her being. A just being okay. And she said, like, even my privates. And you said, if you will. Oh, and then that's when, that's when touching was talked about. I mean, okay. So basically, you don't have a camera. You, you're just going to use your phone to take the photos? Okay. Which phone? Is it that one right there? Okay. Is that your work phone? Yeah. All right. So, I mean, were you, like, planning on putting those photos in, like, a separate gallery or just your camera roll? I mean, did you think about it this far? No? I'm take a picture and that's where they're Okay. <laughs> Got it. I guess nobody really goes through your phone. Okay. Who else would go through my phone? I don't know. <laughs> Emily's mom? I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, and she said, okay, yeah, anything else you want to do? And you said, how would you feel about me taking you while you have no clothes on? And she said, oop, me where? And you said, everywhere. 
And she said, hmm, like wherever, where you want. And you said your whole body and you asked, do you shave? Did you meet her when you said, do you shave? Okay. She said, no. And she asked, even my and you said, if you will let me. And she said, hmm, will it hurt? And you said, I'll be gentle. If it does hurt, I will stop. So, I mean, I gotta ask, was there gonna be any, no force there with anything? Okay. So again, like, were you, if she was to tell you to stop doing that, would, would you have actually stopped? Okay. So your, your plan was to basically, you know, if she's willing, maybe rubber, but only if she's okay with it. If that's where it went. Oh, if that's where it went. So if she, if she basically took it there. I probably wouldn't have done it because I felt bad. Okay, so you just want I'm nervous on the way here, so I'm right. So you just wanted to model and the touching stuff was kind of iffy. Yeah. Okay. And you said it's talking about this make you. More than likely, I probably would have got up and left. Okay. I just started feeling bad. I've been too nervous. Mm-hmm. And here you said I would like for you to touch me also. She said where, and you said my. And she said your. And you said yes. Do you want to? Okay. Then you uh, told her to look up like a blow. All right, so basically, after after he kind of said like, "Do you want to try that on me?" I guess just curious to see what she's say. Curious to see what she would say about that. Okay. I mean, because you know there are people online that are, you know, they basically find someone online that's younger. They say horrific stuff, like "I'm going to rape you." I mean, and the kids go for it anyway. Wow. Yeah. They talk about taking virginities. One thing that's different about you, you didn't talk about virginities or any of that stuff. Yeah, just once I asked her she was, and that was it. Okay. So you didn't send me the pic I asked for. And you said, well, you sent me another selfie. I, I like your smile, I live over by Walmart. What part do you live in? Okay. So I, I gotta ask, I mean, there's a, there's a lady, you live like what, five minutes from the Walmart? Okay, there's like a lady that lives there, I forgot her name, that lives with you. That lives with me? I think so. I just moved there yesterday, or you, three days ago. Really? Yeah, I lived over off in Northern before that, for like the past eight months. Okay. And you said here, I just wanna make sure you really do wanna meet me after telling you that stuff on Monday. And she said, we can. Okay. And here he said, but why won't you show me your chest? So, I mean. Once again, just curious what it looked like from what I was seen when I was younger. Okay. Just trying to remember things like that, I guess. Okay, got it. So, I mean, were you just hoping to see like her bare n or something like that? Okay. I respect your honesty, man, truly. I mean, definitely the more honest you've been, the more I think that we can turn this around and just get it addressed. So I appreciate that. And you said, I'm really excited to meet you. She said, me too. Don't forget my pick I want. And you said, here, I want one with your face in it and a close up, please. So why'd you ask for like a nude of her face in it? Just to see if it was her or not. Okay. Not her sending me a fake picture. Got it. She said, I want you to trust me. And you said, these pics are for no one else. Okay. Okay, I respect that. I said in there somewhere, just for my eyes only. Mm -hmm. You said that. Okay. <laughs> well, it makes it better than as opposed to spreading it around. Yeah. So, he said, no, that's why I want you to. I don't usually ask them to, but you are very and beautiful. She said, I'll promise. Yes, ma'am, I do. Okay, can you do a whole body without your face? Blah, blah, blah. So here, I mean, you basically said, do, do you want me to, do you want to learn how to please a man? Okay. Then after that, you said, I would like for you to touch me also. She said, where? And you said, my So, I mean, that's kind of when you sent the video to her or that video site. Okay. So what's going to happen? Are you calling the cops or what? Um, I mean, dude, I don't have no, I don't even have a phone on me, dude. But I, I would say, man, like, I think, I think there's more to this than this. Cause I think, I mean, dude, talking to you, you seem like a really good dude. And I think you have to see, you have to see, you have to have to see, you had to have seen some up shit online to get here. Cause I don't, I don't think just one day you just wake up. I mean, 
for what it looks like here, you just woke up one day. I mean, I've, like, I've thought about it for, I thought about it like a year ago, mm -hmm. and I was like, no, I don't need to do it. Like so having these these type again, of thoughts? Yeah, I thought okay. about it again, and I was like, oh, I gotta quit thinking that. Then I found her as a friend, whatever it was. I was like, no, I don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. so, so every once in a while I just said, hey, or hi, or how you doing, or whatever. Yeah. So do you have like Telegram? What's that? You don't know what Telegram is? Do you have like Whisper or Signal or Wicker? I have no idea what that is. Okay. So you just have Facebook and what? Do you have Instagram? Facebook and Instagram. Okay. I watch stupid shit on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> you followed her on TikTok originally, right? Either Instagram or TikTok, one or two. Okay. I mean, dude, I, I think you've had. I mean, I think you've had to come across some real fucked up stuff on the internet to like do this. Well, I've seen girls that look younger, but they wouldn't. So mm -hmm. Got me more curious. Okay, so do you think that kind of was the catalyst for getting curious about this type of stuff? Okay, so I mean, like I said, I really respect that. Nowhere in here did it look forced or anything like that. But I mean, you said how long has it been since you've been with a female? How long has it been since I've been? Yeah. Oh, a couple weeks. Couple weeks, okay, but you haven't really had like a wife or girlfriend or anything like that, okay. I mean, I, I mean, obviously we're, we're both guys here. I mean, well, when I first came to Kingman, I had a girlfriend for like three months. Okay. But then she started traveling, so. Bush broke up after that. Okay. I mean, dude, I, I I gotta say, man. I mean, you talked about her pleasuring you. She talked about being interested in it, and you know, talked about you pleasuring her too, right? Did you mention like doing a whatever the fuck you say, basically eat it, you know, eat her out. Like, cause you said, I want you to learn how to pleasure me and you talked about eating her out as well. Okay. So nowhere in here was actual mentioned. That's definitely not my intention. Like I said, I don't want to hurt her. Okay. I'll mess her up for life. Right. I think having, I think having at a young age could mess her up for life. I think, I think this type of stuff, could it maybe, but I think there's less of a chance it does. It's more of just a, I guess it could mess up her mind later on or something. I don't, think. I don't know. I didn't think about that. Yeah. And that, that, that's my point. I mean, I, I don't think you did think about that. But I also understand you didn't you didn't want to hurt her and you didn't like, you know, want to have sex with her or any, like anything too, too serious. I think, I think, I mean, you, did you even bring condoms? Okay. I mean, let's be real. If you're going to have someone model for you, I get not wanting, I get not wanting to have sex with her because of her age. But I mean, it, there's, there is a difference between, you know, Mutual pleasures versus because it can hurt, especially a young girl. Mutual pleasure something else, and you just mentioned each other, like you know, her part stuff like that. I mean, wait, let's be real here. No guy, no guy is going to travel just to, I don't know, hang out with an eleven-year-old. <laughs> right, I know, but just come here to do it. I think what you, I think what you were doing is, I think her, you were just curious about this, and you mentioned. Like, you, you know, because I can look at these and just be like, oh, dude, you're just, uh, I can think some, some things about you, but when you said that you just saw this porn on videos and then it got you curious into this stuff, I think that's what it was. And I think that's why you were here to, yeah. And I think you got really carried away to the point that if she was okay with it, um, you guys were going to, you know, touch each other or each other if she was consenting. I, I think that's what, exactly what was going to happen. Only if she tells you it's okay. I probably wouldn't have let it happen. My nerves wouldn't have let it happen. Yeah, I don't. I, and my wife, right and wrong, would have stopped it. Yeah, I don't think it would have stopped it, man. I think, I think it already stopped you from having sex with her, but I think you just watched too much damn, porn and it got you into this stuff. So was it more of like a possibility this would have happened if she was okay with it? Very slight possibility. Slight possibility this would have happened. Okay. I mean. Again, I got, I'm going to ask if she got nervous and said, "I don't want to do this." Would you have stopped it? Would you have not done it? Okay. So, so in what scenario? What scenario would? What scenario would you have done it? I mean, does she have to be very willing, I mean, or does she, does she have to just not say anything? Like, what scenario are you actually going to follow through with this? I don't know what you mean. Like, what does she have to do? Like, did, did she have to be like fully willing for you to go through with any of this? Okay. Yeah, definitely 100%. Okay. So, so is that basically the only... If she got nervous one little bit, it would be done. Okay. So you would have only done this if she didn't get nervous about it, yeah. pretty much. Okay. And by this, I mean not sex, but just basically roll and or whatever. Shit like, shit like that. So that, so you would what only... I, what I really only, want, only wanted uh -huh. was to see her model, and that was it. Okay. 
So you would have left the t and all that stuff up to her if she wasn't nervous and she was curious about it. Okay. So basically, you're not putting your basically you're not putting your lips on a p of a 11 year old unless she tells you she wants it and she's cool with it. Pretty much is that. I really don't want to do this. Well, I mean, I, Wayne. I mean, it sounded like a good thing, but yeah. I mean, when I put it like that, I mean, I think I think it kind of hits you, man. But I mean, the fact is, like, you know, you're there, you showed up, and you know, like I said, I appreciate that it was only going to be with her consent, but. Like, I mean, obviously, I mean, there was a lot of double texting. I mean, I think it was brought up first on your end that this was going to happen or that you wanted it to happen. You kept asking, is she okay with it, if she's okay with it? I think it would have been the same thing in person. I think you would have asked her or she would have told you, like, hey, I'm okay with this. We can try it. And I think you probably would have told, I think you probably would have told her, like, hey, man, we're not mad, but I think you would have told her, like, hey, if you want me to stop, just tell me. But I think you would have done it if she was okay with it. And that's, that's my point. If she, if she wasn't nervous and she was okay with it, I think that's the only way you would have done this. No way are you breaking someone's trust. But I thought. I mean, what do you think? I shouldn't even be saying it. I know. But the thing is, like, this can get turned around and you are standing here. But, like, you know, obviously what was said was said. And I just want to figure out, like, is it as serious as it looks or is it not? And... What I'm thinking is it's not as serious as it looks because you weren't going to force anything, but I think she would have had to bring the stuff up first, maybe. She would have had to told you she's curious about or whatever, and I think that's the only way you'd follow through with it if she gave you her full okay without being nervous. I mean, is that right? Maybe. Maybe. So it's a possibility it could have happened. Slight one. Slight one. Okay. And that possibility, and it's only a possibility pretty much if she fully is okay with it. I would have to feel really comfortable and believe that she is okay with it okay. before I would even try it. Okay, so basically you would only attempt to do this stuff if you knew she was okay with it. Not, not only if she's telling me you felt she was okay with it, is what you're saying? And if I felt okay with doing it. Okay, well obviously you did feel okay with doing it. Maybe not at first, but you know, the last couple days you got really carried away. Saying it and doing it is two different things. Mm, well, when you're from Texas, people typically say what they say what they mean. It's not just Texas, they say that. Yeah. So you're basically saying that you'd have to be assured from her fully in order to do this? I would have to feel comfortable doing it too. Okay. Well I mean I can like actually do it. Yeah, and I, I can I can prove that you were comfortable doing it because you waited here for like thirty minutes for her to tell you where to come and then you left. And then as soon as she texted you again, you came right back here. So you were obviously fully comfortable with doing it. I think you were just relying on her to be. Because I think if she told you, if she, I think if you felt she wasn't comfortable doing it, you wouldn't have done it. But obviously I was, I, I think you were hoping for her to be super comfortable so you could be super comfortable. I mean, am I right? I don't know, because I don't even know if I'm comfortable. Just because I came here doesn't mean I'm comfortable doing it. But you didn't just come here once, you came here twice. You were and like. When I left, I was going to go to work and just blow it off. Yeah, and you I got all the way over past Walmart. Oh, so you you went a far way. Yeah. Yeah. So you went I, far. Then as soon as she texts you back, you come right back here. I mean, Wayne, come on, man. I, I I know. You know, I've been in this situation before too. Maybe not with like Emily at the apartments, but I've been in a situation where I think a girl goes to me. I'm horny as, fuck, and then I then as soon as she hits me up again, I come right back there. Shit, I've done that. For, I've done that in a situation where it was like 40 minutes, not like five minutes. Where it's like 40 minutes I go back, then I, then I go back. Look, I mean, dude, I know how you are. I mean, you're filled with testosterone. You got the beard and everything. I, I, dude, I, wait, I know, I know how you are. I don't, I don't, yeah. I, like, I, I, don't, th I don't think it's because you're in 11 year olds, okay? That's, we can cross that shit off. I just think. Be a 50 year old and yeah. camera bait. <laughs> yep, exactly. I just think you were super and shit. Maybe the first, maybe this is the first time this is happening, you know. I think you were just super and you just wanted to see if she was okay with doing it because this isn't the behavior of a guy that's not a no. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the behavior of a eunuch so uh, I, I just think you were here to I, I just think you were here to get pleasures keeping that her age in mind and not hurting her with it is that more accurate to say Sounds okay and I, and, I, and I will say like I think uh 
I, I will say, I, I think even with you being, if she wasn't okay with this, you would have stopped. Okay. Because this is this is, really doesn't seem like an everyday thing to you. This is, I mean, did, did you wake up? I mean, did this whole thing get you like excited, like excited just because it was so different or something? Okay. So it wasn't her being 11 that brought you here. You were just very excited. Okay. So then it would make sense to say that, like, I mean, would it make sense to say then that you were just excited and that's why you're here to get some pleasure from somebody who you just found attractive? Okay. So, I mean, I, I do want to ask Wayne, I mean, obviously I know you saw some shit and you know, your stuff isn't hard to find on Facebook. I mean, you use your, this is your real name, Wayne. It's not your middle name. Okay. What was your first name again? Is it like Andrew? What was it? Henry. Okay. Henry Wayne. I mean, yeah, man. I, but I want to let you know your, your can't just get you into this situation again. Like, you got to control yourself. Yeah, now that y'all meet me in the parking lot like this, it definitely will not happen. Yeah. <laughs> I found an old woman at Walmart first. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I will say, I mean, if this was an older lady, I think you would have talked about having oh, yeah. So I definitely know that you controlled yourself to an extent with this, which I do appreciate. So. It's weird because I always like older women. I've never went for anyone younger than me. Really? Even like, so I'm just turned 40. Mm -hmm. Like below like 33. Really? Be careful. Got it. So, so I mean, <clears throat> This has to be a new, newer thing for you then. Yeah. Okay. So, obviously on Instagram, you do follow a lot of people that are younger than 18. On yeah, because they were doing the gymnastics and my daughter was doing it. So I was trying to figure it, learn, learn about it and get into it. Okay, but it obviously turned into something else. Yeah. Well, not for this reason. Right, no, I know. But, but my it, daughter was in gymnastics, so I was trying to do that too. Right, no. Yeah, no. I, so, but, so you follow, like, how many gymnastics pages of, like, younger ladies under 18? Oh, yeah, it's, like, a lot. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, maybe it started with gymnastics, but it turned into this. So I want to know why did this turn into this? I have no idea. I could not answer that. I mean, how many years ago was this when you started following all these gymnastics pages? Oh, shit. My daughter was two, I think, she started gymnastics. Two? Okay, how old is she Seven. now? No. Seven? Okay. So this was probably five years ago, this online crap started for you? Okay. So obviously, you know, Wayne, it's not hard to see your messages to other people. Like, you know, phones aren't hard to look at nowadays, you know. How many years ago did these younger ladies under 18 start messaging you? Oh, no, I've never messaged any of them. I mean, Wayne, I mean, obviously you reach out here. I, th I think you send this message I mean, to a lot. Other than her. Right. No, I, I know. But I, I think that on, on Instagram, the other people you follow, Facebook, the people you're friends with or you associate with, of course you've reached out to them. Again, it's not hard to look at your account and see what's happened. You think all the printouts are only with her? I mean, there's more in the car that we printed out to other people. Not as much as this, that's for sure. But I never said anything like that to any of them. Okay. So there were, okay, so there, there were others, but it was more just cordial conversation? Okay. How old were they? I don't remember, I don't even remember the last time I talked to anybody else. That was underage? Yeah. Okay. How many do you think it was, how many like actually engaged in conversation with you that were underage? Not even just conversation. So I'm curious about what they do online too. I never really had a conversation with any of them. Like they say, hey, how's it going? Good. And like it didn't go any further than that. Okay. And this was just a lot of them or something? How many do you think it was? Like three or four, maybe. Three or four? Okay. How Were they Emily's age or younger or older? No, it was uh, Like what, 13? Well, I think one of them might have been that age. At 11? Because I wanted to, I was thinking about, well, I want to ask them about this stuff so that I can learn about what my daughter's doing. Uh-huh. And like, just learn about it. Yeah. So when my daughter calls me and tells me this stuff, I know what she's talking about. And I can actually have a conversation with my daughter about it. So that's, but I never did ask any of them about that stuff. Okay. Did any of them ever try to flirt with you? Because I know how they, no. Were any of them from Greenville or Arizona here? 
No, they were just Americans. No, I think there was one that was in Australia or something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Was she, was that like the 11-year-old or? I don't remember, it's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, was it on Instagram or Facebook? Instagram. Okay. So I wanna, I wanna ask about Telegram again. I mean. I've never even heard of that. Never heard of Telegram? Okay. What was the other one you said? Telegram. No, you said something else. What was it? Wicker signal. Okay. Yeah, has anybody ever sent you like a Telegram link? I don't even know what that is. You don't even know what Telegram is? Okay. So obviously, like the gymnastics pages you follow. I mean, this happened when she was, when your daughter was two. Okay. And started doing the tumbling on the mats and stuff. Okay. So, I mean, it obviously turned into you following like modeling pages of younger ladies under 18. Like this wasn't gymnastics. It maybe started as gymnastics, I don't know. But it turned into obviously modeling and other stuff. Okay. I mean, do you think that could probably put you down this path here? No, just, I mean, so what, what was interesting to you about seeing like younger ladies under 18 model? I don't know, I guess just the younger body part. Okay. I mean, do you think the internet's kind of made you go back into that time and relive it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, I mean, you mentioned here in the chat, like your preference is like a flat chest or whatever. Smaller. Okay. Did you mention that on the phone call too? I think you did. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So is that basically the main thing you look up on? Yeah. Okay. Petite women. Got it. So I, I want to ask because, you know, obviously there's a difference between a petite woman and an 11 year old. Yeah. There, there has to be a gap somewhere. And I know people on Instagram and Facebook are really like, there's adults on there that are really f***ed up. Not like you, but very f***ed up. Yeah. And, you know, what I've noticed with people is they get good people like you sucked into very bad situations. They send terrible stuff that maybe you didn't even ask for, but they just really up the minds of adults and then those adults end up going in the wrong direction so i want to ask you i mean is there any is there anybody on facebook you've come across that your mind up even more i'm too afraid to ask anybody about that they might turn me in okay i don't even talk to anybody about stuff like that but i mean has anybody has anybody on facebook come to you and basically said do you want pics or anything like that no okay So, I mean, I, I know they like restrict the internet decently well, but I mean, I know there's stuff that slips through the cracks. I mean, ha has there ever been a situation where you've come, come across like a or topless photo of someone younger than 18? There's some of them look like they're under 18 on that, but mm -hmm. I'm sure they're 18. Right, but I mean, like, has there been anybody that's like sent you a photo like that, even if he didn't ask for it? No? Okay. So, I mean, is there anything like on your phone gallery that we should probably get rid of? No. Okay. Like pictures of work. <laughs> right, right. Working and hiking and stuff like that. Okay. I love hiking. Pictures of Havasu. Uh, my motor home I just got. All right. So why do you think with Emily this got so escalated? I don't know. I guess I just like the attention, I guess. Because so. it's the petite thing that I like. Uh-huh. So I guess, I don't know. That's what got it. Go got it. Oh, oh, shit. Can you run to Walgreens and give me my Pepto? Yeah. Uh, the they have Walgreens here? Yeah. Okay. It's actually just right up the road on Stockton Hill. Got it. Go yeah, just go run and get it real quick. Uh, if you go up this road and turn left on Stockton, it's right on the corner of Stockton and 66. Oh, okay. Got it. Appreciate it, man. And the CPS too, there. Mm-hmm. I mean, kind of my hang-up is, like, you asked her to, you asked her to, like, model for you, and I just don't think that came out of left field. I think, I think you've had to have come across some photos, probably not by your own doing, because that's typically never how it happens, but you've probably come across some photos where you've seen these models, see through, something like that. I'm not saying you go look up child, we can get that out of the way, but I'm saying you've had to come across some photos because this doesn't pop into your mind without you seeing that, unless your mind is just that sick, but I don't think it is. No, there, there was videos on Instagram I saw where their gymnastic clothes are a little smaller. And, you know, and see, a little, see a little, yeah. okay. See a little 
or something? It's sticking out. Okay. I don't ever think I'm sticking out. Oh, not sticking out? No, it's sticking out there, like, hard. Right. Not sticking outside. Right. But, you know, like, obviously, you know those gymnastics pages. They're, they're, those aren't to showcase. Those aren't for freaking moms and little girls to go watch. Those are for, basically, men to, men to look at. They're, they're, not, they're not, like... They're not putting. They're not doing like young, young, young gymnastics for, because they wouldn't. They wouldn't publish that photo if it was just for moms and ladies, for guys to look at and for to get them sucked into shit. Were any of these gymnastics pages like or rock model pages like Russian? Oh, uh, there's some Russian, some American. Okay. Uh, just all over the world. Okay, so you came across some Russian stuff. Pretty sure I do. Okay. I know in Russia they do that shit with the kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so. I think that's what it was. I mean, I know I know the Russian shit probably wasn't anything good. No, they're pretty ugly. <laughs> they're pretty <laughs> the Russian what? Russian girls are ugly. Oh yeah. All of them. The young ones, the old ones. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm I'm saying like, typically when people see the Russian stuff online, it turns into like a gateway to something pretty bad. Not on like, Instagram. They have Instagram don't allow that stuff, do they? No. And by, by by that stuff, like, what do you mean? Huh? Like stuff? What is it? Child. Oh, yeah, they don't allow that on this one. Right. I... But, I mean, oh god. You really came into this town. I didn't know this town was like that. You didn't think a town in the Arizona mountains, like near Las Vegas, would be a town? I had no idea. Have you, like, never left Texas in your life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been through a lot of the mountains. Okay. Like northern Arizona, I've been all up there, and mm -hmm. Utah, St. George, you know, all through that area. All right. Not you you always lived in Texas and AZ, just those two places? Well, I've lived in Colorado, Wyoming, Montana. Oh, nice. I've been all over the country. Nice. Never made it up to, like, New York and stuff. you never been there? I don't want to. Oh, well, upstate, <laughs> uh, upstate's pretty. New York City's a shithole. Yeah, my friend Jeremy's from upstate. And yeah. He's always all a bunch of country folks like us. Yeah. He's like, I've never even been to New York City, and I lived there for 19 years. Yeah. In New York. New York City f***s up the whole state, <laughs> for sure. But, like Kingman f***s up this whole state? Uh, no, nah, that's, <laughs> that's more of a Maricopa County with their totally legitimate elections. <laughs> but um, that's a whole other conversation. Yeah, they like f*** shit up too. Right. But, so, so you mentioned that, you know, you said that stuff isn't allowed on Instagram. Okay. How did you know that? Because I've seen the thing before. It said 18 and up only. Okay, but have you come across pages that kind of advertise like on a different site? I mean, I'm asking you, like, what you, just what you've seen. I'm not saying you have any part in that, but I'm saying, have you seen, like, a mega link or anything like that? I don't know what that is, but I ain't never seen no links for child. Just maybe links to, like, other sites with groups or something like that? TikTok. TikTok. It links to TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Okay. But I mean, has there been has there been anybody on Instagram that's like been an adult saying, you know, do you want pics? Do you do you sell pics? Stuff like that. Nobody's hit you up for that stuff. Okay. Sorry. All right. Well, I mean. So, what do you suggest a way for me to not think about this kind of stuff? I don't know. I mean, I, I want to ask, like, how long have you really been thinking about it for? Maybe like a couple of years. A couple of years. Okay. I mean, dude, I mean, that's the thing with how much you watch. I just don't. And, it, dude, like I said, I'm not going to judge you. You know, I know you're not, I know you're not like some, I know, I know you don't want to be like, like this, dude. But, I mean, I. When I, I was younger, I couldn't tell you how much I watched. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think. I mean, any man is young is that damn. Yeah, old. sure. Way. Yeah, and, and I think a lot of it f***s you up, man. I think the internet really puts you in a bad place, but you don't watch for this long and then not come across any stuff. Like, you, you don't basically watch like 18 and up, and then one day you go decide to go an 11 year old. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here and say, I think something happened that you had to come across online. I'm not saying you go watch, you know, this stuff all day, every day. I'm saying you've probably come across it a few times and it made you feel a way you maybe shouldn't have felt. I've heard of that stuff. Like, there was a little advertisement thing on, a, on Instagram. Right said something about it and I thought it was like another gymnastics thing then it said this link is for sale click here or something so I clicked there and it said uh, 12 year old something I don't remember or whatever mm -hmm. 
So I just and went off that page. Went back to Instagram. Yeah, and, and you know that's what I was asking about earlier. It's probably a mega link. So. You know, and that, that, that's what I think happened. I think that's probably happened a few times where you click on that, they don't like it. Call the cops. I do not. I'll, just, I'll vouch for you, bro. Don't worry about it. No, I'll vouch for you. But my, my point is that you've probably clicked on those links a few times and actually watched it, got carried away. Did that happen? What are you going to tell us I'm just trying to talk to you right now, man. Talking about work? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, we're just having a conversation here. I mean, there's just a small situation, but I mean, I, I think that he's on the right path here. He, I mean, he was here to meet, like, I mean, this is your only time trying to meet someone who's 11, right? He says he's not going to, this is, this is was your only time that this is happening, truly? Okay. So you're not going to go meet an 11-year-old girl, girl, girl again, are you? Okay. And you're not going to ask her to model again, are you? Okay. And this is your only time you actually wanted to do anything with a young kid? Okay. Can you have your ID on you, buddy? Alright, go over there and have a seat on that curb for me. One through six. I'm out with a male. Four, 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 nine, Arizona. Happy to be here. Thanks for the line. Thanks for the line. Last of. So what's going on, guys? So we have a group that catches online child We were just in Pima County yesterday, and we got a guy arrested there. We posted minors online. Adults hit us up, thinking we're in their area. They try to meet us for encounters. Uh, we confront them on camera. They admit to it, like he did here. And we turn over the evidence to you guys. And uh, he, in this case, he asked who he thought was an 11-year-old girl for photos. He admitted he wanted to model her, basically produce child of her. And he also said that he didn't want to, he didn't want to have with her but he wanted to just do it with her and um yeah basically that's the that's the thing and he says he's been attracted to this stuff for like probably a couple of years now yeah. and all the stuff is in order here um most of the messages Perfect. are you the ring leader of this deal yes all right do you have your id on uh, i can just get it from the car right there yeah if you don't mind you want to hold this or Yeah, Wayne, we were Emily.
really helps us out um, if you're on YouTube it'll be in the pin comment if you're on rumble just press that red join button um, we are literally basically in Las Vegas I think about how far that is from Houston um, we drove all the way here to get this guy who's obviously very sick so if you guys want this to keep happening because YouTube does not want it to keep happening if you guys want to be a part of this continuing to happen we cannot rely on Silicon Valley anymore we have to rely on you have to rely on you not YouTube to keep doing this so consider joining locals you can see you could have seen this catch uncensored and early plus literally over 10 more early and uncensored and on top of that you get to help the team that travels the most catches the sickest um to enable us to keep doing what we do and uh yeah you can see tons of stuff on there i can't post on here or i don't want to post on here so be sure to join locals and uh yeah it really helps us out See that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state, Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $7 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. The choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. Contribute directly to getting these people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment.